My name is Michael Moret, and this is Coffee Break. So a man owes $1,200 to his landlord for rent, or he and his family will be out on the street, and he doesn't have the money to pay it. This guy, on top of everything else, has not been a very nice man. Specifically, he has not been very nice. In fact, he has done many things to anger and offend one wealthy individual in particular. But in spite of being treated with such contempt, that wealthy person offers to pay the man's rent, all $1,200, no strings attached, doesn't even have to pay him back. He simply wants to be kind and generous to this unworthy person who is in such a desperate situation. But the man says, forget it. I don't want your money. I don't want your help. I don't like you, and I don't need your help. Besides, I have this torn, worn-out shirt that I found trampled in the mud, and I'll pay my rent with that. And, of course, the landlord said, get out of my house. You can't pay your debt with that filthy shirt. And so he and his family are out on the street, sleeping under a bridge. What a waste. What a complete waste. Because he could have had his rent paid for. No strings attached. And the same thing happens every single day with God. God offers to pay our enormous sin debt through Christ on the cross. If people will only repent and receive Christ as Lord and Savior, God offers sinners this priceless gift And yet most sinners say, no, Jesus. I'll just offer God my own good works on Judgment Day and he'll let me in heaven. I don't have to worry about going to hell. But no, he will not get into heaven because God says that man's good works are just filthy, worthless rags. So the vast majority of people go to hell. And it doesn't have to be that way. What a waste to turn down God's gracious gift of his son who died on the cross to pay for their sins. What a waste. Doesn't have to be. And yet, more often than not, that's exactly how it is. This has been Michael Moret with another Coffee Break.